What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about Black Clover Mobile. Now, if you guys don't know about, I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's like five or six months ago, they released a trailer, or a couple trailers, about Black Clover Mobile, and it looked just as good as Grand Cross. And if you guys don't know, Grand Cross is a very beautiful game, and looks really, really good. So, that already had me super excited for what was to come as far as this game. I, now, I don't know, now, I, I know a little bit about Black Clover, but I haven't read it or watched it. But I said in that video that I made then, if, you know, or not if, but when the game comes out, I am willing to start reading and or watching Black Clover. I asked you guys which one y'all think I should do. A lot of people said read, some people said watch. I'll have to go back and check the comments specifically to see which one or whatever. But... I'm, I'm down. I've always heard good things about this show, and it wasn't that I wasn't, you know, wanting to read it or watch it. I kind of just didn't have any motivation to do it over, you know, the other stuff I was reading or watching. But if this game does come, or whenever it comes out, I am down for sure. Now, the thing about this is, number one, there is a closed beta that you guys can sign up for right now. And the link will be in the description, so you guys go sign up, whatever, and hopefully you guys get in. You know, good luck to everybody. Number two, this game is supposed to be releasing this year. So I believe it's going to release... Actually, I just looked it up just to make sure I wasn't giving you guys false information. And it was supposed to release in 2022, but they delayed it to the first quarter of the next year. So... Uh, it's going to be January, February, March is going to be when it releases. A lot of people are saying January. I don't know why, but yeah, apparently it's going to be releasing in the first quarter of next year, but it looks kind of like uh, Isekai Memories or kind of like that Shaman King game that I played a little bit ago, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of this gameplay, and this is like a little dev note letter from the development. If you guys want to watch this, this will also be in the description, but most of it's just him talking right and uh here's the gameplay portion so just the gameplay portion this is what it looks like so it looks like there's a speed gauge right here on who goes first going so he's he's going and then uh enemy enemy then your two teammates enemy and then so it looks like there's going to be a speed gauge now i'm not entirely sure if the speed gauge is going to be based off of like if it's like epic seven where you can build speed or is it going to be like naruto blazing where you your speed is built in and you can't change it right fast units are fast slow units are slow because in epic seven you could have a slow unit and build them really fast or you could have a fast unit and build them really slow uh it, it just depends on what you're wanting to do so i'm not entirely sure how that's going to work with this game if i had to guess units are probably going to have built-in slip speed that you can't change I, I don't think they were good. Now, who knows? We'll obviously have to wait and see. Obviously, here, though, you can see he has type advantage to this guy. And then he has type disadvantage to these two guys. Now, obviously, Yami right here is a red type unit. So type advantage to green and then type disadvantage to blue. So very basic bare bone system. You know, I, you know, most have that type of system going on. Now, the thing that I want to talk about is the icons. There are different icons. As you can see with Yami's, at the bottom, it's like a fireball. Kind of like this one right here. If you look at Asta's, it is a shield. And if you look at this guy, it's a star. And if you look at this enemy over here, it's kind of like a blob. So, even though there's going to be different elements, how the game gets more in-depth is going to be your element and then your class, right? Now, obviously, I don't know what these classes are. I assume the fireball is like attack type. Asta, the shield is a defense type. The star could be magic type. I don't know. But there are going to be different classes, even if the elements, there's only three elements. So I think that's going to be a really cool system because depending on your element, you have type advantage, disadvantage, or neutral. And then depending on your class, there's certain things that you can and cannot do. Obviously, on top of that, you do have, uh, I think you have a basic attack right here. But anyway, you have your basic attack you have your skill and then you have your super it seems like this is like the system basic attack skill super i'm not entirely sure what this is whenever you start it or look at the start of it it's it's still there 
so and it's just like town of six it's like a, a unity bar or something i don't know but um as far as the gameplay goes all they do is show you like the start of it they just show you him and his attack he does his second skill and then that's it that's all they show you so um i don't know i just deciphered a little bit as much as i could but that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.